Say the population mean for a group is 103 and the population median is 95. Is the population most likely left skewed, right skewed, or symmetric? Well, the fact that these two numbers are different from one another eliminates the chance or the possibility that it's symmetric. So we can eliminate that option because in symmetric distributions, the mean and the median are the same. That means we're looking to see whether it's left skewed or right skewed. And all you have to do again to figure that out is to draw a number line. And on that number line, you're going to label the two numbers that have been given to you. So we're given 103 and 95. So I'm going to clearly put 103 further to the right and 95 on the left because remember that the big number always goes to the right of the smaller number. And then we just have to label what that number was. So 103 was the mean, it says, right? So that's our mean. And 95, it says, is the median, the population median, eta. Okay, so when we put it together, mu here is to the right of the median eta. So what that tells us is that this is right skewed. Remember, all you have to do to figure out whether it's most likely right skewed or left skewed is to figure out what side the mean is on. On this piece of paper, the mean is on the right-hand side, so the distribution is most likely right skewed. That's because, of course, the skinny tail in a right skewed distribution pulls upon the mean and influences it, and it moves over to the right because of the skinny right tail. So the drawing actually looks something like this if you were to see it probably for this distribution. It might look something like that, where it has a long skinny tail, and because of that long skinny tail, the mean is tugged a little bit to the right. Okay, and that's it.